Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com and welcome back to our new series called Serve and Scale. And this is essentially where we look at all the great tools and technologies that you can borrow to build or leverage to launch your brand on a bootstrap budget. So, uh, you know, as, as those of you who've watched some of these videos in our course community uh, know already, we have four or five different core modules in each one of these uh, workflows. So the, there is the workflow piece, which is generally audio. In this case, it's a video. We have walkthroughs, we have worksheets, and then we have homework, right? So in this case, I'm gonna show you a workflow. I'm gonna actually do this visually. So you're actually getting the video for this as well publicly. I'm gonna post this on YouTube, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up an email automation workflow within the Podia platform. Podia is great. We teach our courses, or at least a percentage of our courses. Uh, you can see partners.mindfulmarketplace.com to visually see some of those. We sell services uh, through Podia. Uh, we have an affiliate program, a membership community, uh, you know, landing pages, uh, our email marketing, uh, appropriately enough, because that this video here is going to cover that uh, notion. But all of these things you can deliver through Podia under one uh, rubric, one umbrella, and certainly one affordable cost. We pay, I think, $79 a month for this, and you're getting a multiplicity of different, uh, you know, uh, you can do a lot of different things by dint of using this one software as a service. And that's what we're interested in, in this serve and scale uh, series. What can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What gives you superpowers? And what allows you to transform your brand by dint of software and services that are available to you at a low uh, cost. All right. So really quickly, let's go into the create. I'm in my Podia dashboard. We're going to go into create and we're going to select email from the drop down menu here. It's going to bring up a, another page where you can now choose between either a broadcast email or an automated campaign. And the difference being, at least in the parlance of this particular platform, a broadcast is a one-off email that you would send, let's say on a Sunday or a Tuesday or a Friday. Maybe there's something going on in the world. Maybe you're having a special sale. Maybe you had an idea at 4 a.m. that you just need to share with your community. That would be generally what you'd use a broadcast for. So as a really quick um, you, you know, aside, let's say, we're going through these really surreal set of circumstances right now in the COVID-19 uh, outbreak. I'm sure hopefully people will be watching this at some point in the future. Well, that no longer will be the case. Who knows when that is? But I've been using the broadcast feature in this case to send out some, you know, you know, nice notes to my community, hopefully some inspiring notes or just letting folks know that if they want to chat or they have questions or, you know, they're stuck at home or whatever it may be, they can reach out to me in, you know, or, you know, other folks within uh, our on our side, uh, you know, to, you know, to get help, et cetera, et cetera. So that would be a broadcast oriented function. A campaign would be something that is automated and generally is triggered by a user action. So let's say, for an example, somebody signs up for your newsletter and they get a series of five or seven or 12 uh, automated messages that are staggered over the course of several days or, you know, obviously, 10 days, 12 days, however many messages are in that campaign, um, you know, or someone buys a book or they, uh, you know, they get a, uh, a digital download or start a course, you can actually deliver those automated messages in, you know, whatever a companion style uh, format is most appropriate for that course or, or, or that campaign, right? I mean, you also can, by the way, just deliver your courses 100% via email using something like Podia. So you, you can create automated email courses that someone signs up on day one and they get a 10-day sequence of 10 messages. You don't even necessarily have to create a, you know, a course in the traditional way that most folks do these days, the video courses and things like that. All right, so let's 
really quickly set this up so you can see exactly visually how this is done. So you are going to, I made the mistake in a previous uh, demonstration of his live actually of doing this for some other folks. And these, it turns out, go to the po Podia help desk or the, the uh, you know, their doc uh, page where you can read, you know, their documentation. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. Instead, and as you can see here, by the way, you can see some of the emails that we have sent out as a community and, you know, and the unsubscribe rates, bounce rates, click rates, et cetera, et cetera. So all that is available in your uh, Podia dashboard as well. All right, so let's go to campaigns rather than broadcasts and let's create a new campaign. Actually, I'm just going to start editing this one that I started creating uh, a little bit earlier today. All right. And now this is the important piece. The salient part of this process is the trigger action, which is essentially what you're telling the email autoresponder to respond to by virtue of the user action or the the engagement uh, activity that your reader, subscriber, or student um, just did that's going to trigger this sequence. All right. So in this case, uh, this trigger is set up for an interview with Joe, which is just a product. You can see like all the different things that you could do here. But, um, you know, this is just one particular uh it's not even a product, it's an interview with a guy named Joe. And essentially, when folks sign up to actually get a PDF of this interview I do with this person, they can then get a sequence of automated emails that say, hey, this is what Joe is doing now. Hey, Joe, there's a little Jimi Hendrix reference there. Uh, you can do, you know, you could send out an invitation to buy a different product that Joe has or, uh, you know, check out Joe's events, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not in the in the you know business of promoting Joe's business, so I'm not going to do anything like that. Instead, let's say if I can, let's just pick something here. All right, educational marketing made really easy. That's a really short. I think it's a single page PDF that folks can download on a series of steps that um, I recommend for educational micro marketing modules. All right, so let us go to add email and this is triggers and you can see Podia auto saves. So all this is now being saved as I'm working. I'm gonna set the trigger event to zero. This way it's not a day later, it's actually on user action, all right? So I would say, hey, you know, and then you know, here's where you can add your tokens. In this case, uh, you know, the, the username will be triggered here. You can see that here. But I'm, I'm just going to say something like, thanks so much for joining us. All right. And then, and then you could add first name, et cetera, there. But down here, I'm going to say, That we're super stoked that you can never spell anything, it's really embarrassing. All right, and blah, 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 blah. All right, so this is where you would just fill out the thing, the message that folks are getting, again, upon downloading your, um, you know, your ebook. In this case, the ebook, was it's not an ebook, it's a single page PDF or maybe a two or three page PDF. And then this down here sometimes trips people up. You have to actually turn the status of that email on. So there's a couple of toggles that need to be, you know, switched on to get all this to function. And then you, I usually, I would, you know, just, again, obviously this message would be written in a much more coherent way. I would have our Facebook page here, which is facebook.com, the mindful market. And generally, I'll tell you something else that I do here that works really well is I'll put in a affiliate link to Podia and I'll say brought to you by Podia. And anyone who signs up for Podia using my affiliate link or our affiliate link in this case, I make 33% of uh, their monthly fee in perpetuity. So I get paid 
um, you know, for, I mean, today I get paid on people who signed up for Bodhi years ago and essentially and every month. So and it makes my membership free, uh, you know, and then some, right? I mean, I'm not only getting this for free, um, they're actually paying me simply because of the affiliate recommendations I've made. And the easiest way of, of, of doing that, if you want a little hack that works really well, I would just put that here. I put my affiliate link in here, which is a short link that I have for karma.podia. As you can see, it's right. And then that's done. All right. So they're going to get this message and then brought to you by Podia, which it is, right? I mean, this is how it's being delivered. It's being delivered by dint of the Podia platform. And so that's not, you know, saying anything that's not true. And then uh, you're pretty much done. Now, the only step that you have to actually remember to make is this you got to turn the campaign on all right and now it's work drip published so in other words this drip campaign or what they continue excuse me what they call a drip campaign rather than an automated or staggered e or metered email sequence whatever the phraseology terminology the jargon is it matters not these are just automated emails and this is the workflow all right so I would also name this. So if I go back into the here, I would name it something. And I think you. this is the trigger. Let's see the settings. It's untitled. So I would call, I did this for YouTube. Delete me later. All right. Because I don't want to keep this live. Um, you know, I want to, I want to uh, delete it. And then you can see here, here's a report that, Obviously, you saw the report I had before with the campaigns, with the you know the, the unsubscribes, the bounces, etc. This will just tell you how many people are opening your emails, how many people are clicking on your links, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I also, by the way, have a tracking link um, that tells me, you know, here how many people clicked on this. So I know by dint of my uh, tracking link. Uh, you know, uh, metrics, how many people are clicking on this, and you can make changes to that predicated on, um, you know, on that data, right? So maybe I would change the verbiage here. Maybe I would make a, add a picture there instead. Maybe I would, um, you know, change the affiliate program to something else, actually, right? Rather than saying brought to you by Podium, maybe I would say um, hire me and have a link to a pay, uh, you know, a, a page where folks, a calendar, let's say. I mean, you have so many different options, so many cool ways of using these sort of automations to build your business that, uh, you know, especially on a bootstrap budget that there's absolutely no reason why you can't do all sorts of really cool and creative things while you're, you know, staying home in this very uh, strange set of circumstances. Okay, dope. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to me, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com. Feel free to comment on the video below if you found this helpful. That does help me. And uh, you can connect with our community on Facebook, facebook.com, the mindful market. Not mindful market, but the mindful market. Okay, dope. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.